Well, the title's called English Magic. And it's six rooms of work, but most of it new. Each room is a discrete room in a sense, in that it can exist by itself. But they all relate, all the rooms relate. There's a fantastical element to the show, which is, I suppose, where the magic comes in. But the magic refers to good magic and bad magic. I'm not, I won't say black magic, because it's not that, but it's just the way magic can be all about concealment and things disappearing and reappearing and tricking. Probably the most striking things in the exhibition are the three large murals. First thing you see when you walk up the avenue into the building will be a mural. So I planned it so you'd see this painting. And it's a painting of a, a giant bird destroying a Range Rover, or grabbing a Range Rover. So that's a, almost a fantastical scene. It's a mythological scene almost. Directly behind you, in the same room, is a mural of a, a town on fire. And the town is St. Helier in Jersey, and it refers to a fictitious, futuristic event when um, British taxpayers are going to go to Jersey to demonstrate against Jersey's tax and banking culture. And almost by accident, they set fire to the town and destroy it. So in a way, it's like a medieval sacking of a town. And then finally, there's, a, there's an image, again, a giant image, an image of William Morris returning from the dead as a colossus to destroy Roman Abramovich's yacht. Because two years ago, Abramovich turned up with this huge yacht and sort of blocked the way for everyone on the walk up to the Giardini. And this is um, Morris destroying it, throwing it into the lagoon. So these are three paintings that sort of set the tone for the show, really. Sort of that, that vengeance and destruction. It's not all that, obviously. So the film is... Uh, that was a lot of work to do. That was as much as the rest of the show put together, or it felt like it. But that, in a, that film ties the show together. It's like a glue, really. And especially because of the music in the film, you'll be able to hear in every room. It'll be something that follows you around the exhibition. And really, the film picks up on ideas of the show and is, in some way, about the making of the show, where we went and who we met and so on, that um, it shows the, pr the process, sort of, but also it shows some of the ideas expanded within the show. This isn't necessarily an artwork as such, but it's a, it's a space that I didn't really know what to do with, but I thought it'd be quite a good idea to have a place where people could relax almost. For, just from my show, but also from all the other shows. So we, we decided to do a little, little tea room, hence this sign, which is made out of Neolithic flints. Possibly. They might be fake, though. I suspect they're fake. But anyway, that's why we've put them in this sign. So this is, this is the, the sign to announce that you can sit down here and have a nice cup of tea. After the Biennale, the show will return to Britain and will be reconfigured in three museums and galleries in the UK. Maybe more, I don't know, but at least three, courtesy of the Art Fund and the British Council, of course. So um, I'm very excited about that. It's obviously a big deal, but it's dawning on me now that it could be quite an even bigger deal than I thought. But uh, it's, for me, it's, I'm just treating it as a big exhibition and a big opportunity. But I'm not consciously thinking of Britain when I make this, which is weird if you think, look at the content of the show. You might think I am. How's that? Is that all right?